so we're back with another video. This one is going to be this look that I'm wearing today. It's kind of just like an olive fall inspired shimmery look. Um, I got really inspired because I recently bought a 24 individual shadows by Lorac and this color sage really just like super popped out to me. I super loved it. Um, it's that color right there and it's just super gorgeous and so I really really wanted to do a look with it obviously now that it's getting colder a lot of the cool time uh, cool toned shadows are in and you know looking really popping lately so I want really really wanted to do a look with that shadow and I created this one Um, if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep on watching. Bye, guys! Alrighty, so first, obviously, we're just going to go ahead and prime the lid. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. And then I'm going to go ahead and also define the underneath of my eyebrows with concealer and blend that down into the Primer Potion as well. going to go ahead and do is set all that concealer and primer in with Blanc by Lorac and I'm just doing this with a kind of fluffy crease brush and then I'm going to use that same brush and pick up the color caramel and go really high in my crease and I'm just going to windshield wiper motion that back and forth. I'm just going to pick up the color sable also by Lorac and a smaller dome brush and just define where I want my crease to look like it is and just blend that out. Next I'm going in with this Jouer Cream Eyeshadow Crayon and this is in the color abstract. It's basically black with a couple specks of like silver glitter shimmer in it. Um, and this is just going to serve as a better base because our look today is going to be super smoky. So just to make that green color more sultry and pop, I'm going to go ahead and use a black base. Just going to apply it and then smoothen it out with a small shadow brush. And then I'm also going to soften the top line line with the brush as well and then blend it downward but I am going to leave a bit of a gap between where the abstract ends and then where the sable color begins just because that area we're going to blend out and just so that the colors don't look muddily blended together I find it as a good little trick to just keep a little bit of a blank spot just going to pop on the color uh, sage on top of where we have that black and then on the tip of my brush I'm going to pick up a little bit more sage and work it into that blank spot just so that the blending is nice and gradient looking versus muddy so that's what we're going to do with that blank spot right there. with a smaller shader brush and the color Anaconda by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I just sprayed my brush with a uh, NYX setting spray just to make it wet and then just pop that more greener brighter color just on the center because I didn't want this look to be too bright I did want to keep it really sultry and a deep green look so I did just only pop it in the middle I'm just gonna go ahead and tightline and waterline my eyes with a black pencil Next, I'm just going to apply a couple coats of mascara on the top lashes and I'm also going to make my highlight pop a little bit more by adding um, the color Buttery right underneath my brow bone right there. And then on the inner corners of my eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and put in Beigely, which is actually a shimmery silver color by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal underneath and brighten underneath my eyes. Um, before I go ahead and put in my under eye shadow. And then on the bottom of my eyes, I'm using the color mauve first just to run along um, my lash line. And then I'm gonna go ahead and waterline with an eye pencil and then smoke it out with a black shadow as well, just to kind of set it. And then after that, I am picking up the color sage with a bigger domed brush. And I'm gonna just go ahead and run that along all the way on, from the outer to the inner corner 
of my under lash line and I'm gonna work that in pretty heavily and smoke out that black and then next is gonna be a mascara and then just making sure to blend out my eyeshadow so it blends into the concealer it looks nice pretty and next I'm going in with another joy product this is their cream highlighter in champagne and I'm just using this on my ring finger and just dabbing it on where I'm going to put my highlight later and then before I put my powder highlight, I'm just going to powder my entire face and contour. To powder my face, I'm just using the um, finishing powder by Makeup Forever. And then to contour, I'm just going to use my Inglot Press Powder and my usual routine, contouring my nose and my cheekbones. Face, I'm just using a bronzer by The Balm and I'm gonna just bronzer the rest of my face. And then for a highlight, I am using my new Anastasia Beverly Hills Starlight um, Highlight Illuminizer and I'm just picking that up on a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna put that on top of where I put the Champagne um, Jouer Highlight. So then I did end up popping on um, some falsies. I'm using Bella by House of Lashes and then I'm also going to do my lips. Of course, I lined my lips with the color cork and then on the inside I did use um, the Lipstick Myth, both by MAC. And then that completes our look, guys. And that is the lip. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it made you feel very festive and autumn-y and I hope that wherever you are, you're feeling the Christmas spirit coming because it's coming. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, just like it and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my website. It is katrinetolentino.com. I'll put links below. Thanks, guys. Bye.